Bye. Good morning. Right. Um, just going to start doing these videos where you can just follow me around for a day, I think. It kind of works better. Um, I was trying to figure out what kind of works for me and what works for me is just taking you along with me in my days. So I think these are just going to end up being just like days in the life of me. Um, but yeah, today I am going to a job which is a Honda CRV. Um, I've got to under seal it and sort out some rusty bits on it and do some little bit of paintwork. I say paintwork, it's not body shop grade paintwork. It's just touching it up, making it look smarter. It's not no professional job where you're going to spend thousands of pounds getting it done, but you'll see what I mean. But right, let's get cracking, and I'll see you in this, see you shortly. So we're working on this piece today. You see around the window, it's all got all rusty, all the paint's come off. Same as around the passenger door. It's got all flat. It's the same as the other side, but I'm gonna sand it back and give a little lick of paint. Yes, it's not gonna be no body shop repair, but it's gonna be an alright repair. In the fort's customer wants anyway, because that way. So I'll put it on a time lapse and you can and I'll show you the end result <laughs> Already getting that first layer of primer on, as you can see, oh, he looks a million times better. All four doors painted now. Um, here's one put back together. I mean, from what that looked like before to what it looks like now, I mean, I would, I'd be impressed with that. That'll do me. With all four doors done, uh, it's starting to get dark, and it was uh, time to call it a day. another day a couple of days later because it got dark i had to get had things to do and i don't like working in the dark to be honest with you because it involves torches and i can't be bothered um, <laughs> so i'm heading back to that job now <clears throat> i'm gonna finish off doing the under seal just gotta go get some under guard and a spray paint spray paint under guard spray paint and some brushes, some brushes. So, let's warm the baby up and get going. So, as you can see, 
the seals are starting to go rusty. Um, so we're going to get on top of it and we're going to clean all this back and paint it with some stone chip, which is basically under guard, to stop that getting any worse. Um, and I'm going to go over all the inside as well. Everywhere I can see, put it that way. I don't know if you can see this, but it's like I'm diving with uh, rain today. Although we forecast that it wasn't going to rain, but you know the forecast lies, right? Ugh. To make things more annoying, I was wearing my nice hat to begin with and didn't realize I had it on. Oily hands, touch my hat, see. Plus, I only went to touch my hat because I wanted to put my light on. You know what I mean? Audi special, five quid. Bargain. Oh, it's better. Well, at least that will prevent the rust from getting too bad. Um, obviously, it is an old truck, so it's always going to get through in this Japanese. What I'm going to be attacking it with is under seal, but well, under body seal, which is hammerite with added wax oil. Which personally, this is what I use on my own truck, and I can't knock it. You put it on, the water hits it, and it just falls off. So, in my mind, yes, it is a messy job. It's a horrible, messy job, but it's worth doing if you want something to last. And if you're going to plan on keeping something for a long time, anyway, put it that way. Same as that old girl. She gets a coat of this once a year. Just, just to be on the safe side. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start knocking all this back now with a wire brush. Delivery van just went past and it was electric. It's soiling. That was quite impressive actually. Focusing on the main points of where they rust. So in the wheel arches, strip tops, round the bottom of the seals, you know, bits of the subframe and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, you get the idea. It's a messy job. But don't be afraid to get it in certain places. Obviously don't get it on the brakes, no point getting it on the brakes. But getting it on like drop links and trap mud ends, I wouldn't worry about it. Yes, it's probably the problem for a mechanic, but then again, wax oil is quite soft anyway, so it would just undo. It's not going to clog up and mess up any nuts and bolts and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to crack in. I've got another three to do and underneath. Now, I'm sure there's going to be people that are moaning at me like, you missed a bit. But let's be honest. As I said, it's a flashover, giving it a new lease of life. But you can't get everywhere with a brush. Let's be honest. But as you see now, look, I started to work my way underneath. I've got all the bottom and to under to do. And then the here. Dirty job. I'm gonna get my camera out of the way so I don't get covered in what in under seal. Not nice.
crap all over the lens. Mm. But yeah, that's that end of side done. This wheel arch done. Underneath there, done. So now on to the other side and the other seal and then we're pretty much done then. Uh, right, that's this car all done. Let's see if I can show you. Oh. Clean. Seals nice and clean. Underneath. All the wheel latches. All under the back. Um, yeah, all the floor. So, that's me pretty much done with this one now. Um, so we've done, we painted these, which, as you already previously saw, how mint that is looking now, compared to how it was. Oh. Oh. That's a dirty job. I wouldn't, well I say I wouldn't recommend it. Needs must, it's better to do it and just get it done and dusted. That way your van's sorted or your car's sorted or whatever you want to do with it. Um, the advantages of having under seal, under guard, is obviously corrosion protection. Obviously nobody wants their van to fail its MOT because it's got rusty holes in it here, there and everywhere. And if you can give it a fight, and realistically, any vehicle will rust over time. As it gets older, it'll rust. That's a fact, especially if it's not galvanized as well, because modern cars are galvanized uh, metal. Um, whereas old stuff like this old wagon, it's not galvanized paint, so as soon as it chips, it'll rust. Um, yeah, it's a dirty job. What I do use is a, the wax oil hammerite um, in a tin, and I'll paint that on underneath, and then I'll use like a stone chip guard on the sills because what happens is the wax oil stuff will stay a bit soft, especially when it's first put on. Um, and if you put that on the sills, within five, within, well, within a couple of days, it'd be splattered up the sides and it'd be all over your shoes and it's not, it's not worth doing. So yeah, I always recommend using like a stone chip, like under seal sort of hardener one to use on the sills um, and then use the um, painted on stuff everywhere else. So that's all four wheel arches all underneath the floor, subframe, rear subframe, you know, it's just giving it a fighting chance against the elements. Um, obviously the best time to try and do that is during the summer. Uh, I know it sounds silly, but you're prepping yourself for winter and I'm due to do it again on this old girl and I'll do that before next winter um, to make sure she's all good. Um, I did do it when I first got it and it's, you know, it's, it'll, I'll go underneath it now and it still looks mint. Um, every now and again, I'll go and buy a can of wax oil spray and I'll just spray it in the wheel arches. Obviously, I'll jet wash it first. Um, but I'll spray that all up in the wheel arches just to give it a fighting chance to join the elements. Um, so yeah, that's my day done, well, not, well that's my day done today. Um, but I will take you, along, take you along with me again tomorrow. Uh, I've got to do some rear coil springs on a Vauxhall Corsa. Um, now I'm gonna go get some food shopping in because I've got no food whatsoever. Um, and then I might go to the gym. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Ta da! Right in. Right, it's the next day. Um, got a little job today, which is two rear springs on a little quarter sack. So got two of these bad boys to go on it. Um, I'm part of not too far away from my job. 
Um, so, quite little drive, and I'll get cracking. Um, I will say again, it's not a tutorial on how to do it. It's just a, you know, recording me doing it. If you want to take some tips off what I do doing it, then you carry on. Um, but yeah, got me morning bro. Have me breakfast, have me Weetabix. Grab your Weetabix. Um, and they set cracking. And I'll take you. Oh. So yeah, here she is. First job, get it on actual stands. As you can probably see, we're replacing these springs. Um, I think one of them is actually, this one's actually broken. You can see just up there. Um, and the other one doesn't look that good, so we're gonna replace both of them while we're there. So it's gonna be a case of, put it on axle stands, um, undo the shock bolt, both sides and then drop the back end, back end down so these springs will just pop out and we can pop the new ones in put a jack under there and then push it back up again put the bolt in same again the other side job's a good one so we've got the spring out um, as you can see here if I pull of course that should go like that so basically like the bottom missing that coil there. That was just sitting on the body. Um, so obviously taking that bottom bolt out of the shock allows me to move this wheel up and down. Which obviously without the spring in there and the shock attached, it's just sprung over. It was snapped off. And if you compare it to the new one, if you've got a nice chunky coil and it goes all the way to the top. This one is a slightly better manufactured spring as it's all the same size coil all the way up rather than on these ones, the ones that come off it. Smaller at the bottom and then they get thicker as they go along. Which, yeah, helps with the dampening at the bottom but personally, I don't think you've noticed the difference at all. So that's me done for today. Uh, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, and I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day as it is a Friday. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. So that. <laughs>